welcome back to One Hot Bite. Melissa here, where healthy doesn't have to be boring. I'm gonna show you how today. We are gonna make huevos rancheros burritos. We're of course gonna make them amazing and we're also gonna make them light. I'm gonna show you some health tips along the way that make these healthy for us, but yet satisfying as well. These are coming in at 299 calories, so just under 300 calories you can have for breakfast, you can have them for lunch, you can have them for dinner, and you can accompany it with a fruit salad or anything else you might enjoy. So I wanna thank you so much for being here. Hurry up and smash that like button subscribe down below and let's get cooking. We are going to roast some vegetables to make the salsa that's gonna go on these burritos. So we're just gonna start with some Roma tomatoes. That's what I have here. You can use any tomato you would like. And I'm just gonna chop this into some pretty large size pieces because we are gonna blend this and make it into a smooth, uh, slightly chunky salsa. So as soon as I have my tomatoes chopped up, I'm gonna put these on a roasting pan and then we are gonna chop up an onion as well. So we want a little less onion than we do our tomato. The entire recipe and all the ingredients are listed down below so you can get that down there. We are gonna roughly chop this onion as well. And as soon as it gets chopped, we're gonna add this to the tomatoes that we have on the roasting pan. Now again, about saving calories and saving on fat, you really wanna boost up your flavor. So by roasting the vegetables, we're making this salsa very flavorful, very rich, and that is gonna help our palate be salad satisfied. So as soon as we have these on here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil on top, and we're gonna roast them in the oven on broil for about eight to 10 minutes, just till they get a little bit charred on top. I'm gonna stick those in the oven and we're gonna get those roasting. Now, in a saucepan, I'm gonna add chili powder, some cumin, a little bit of salt, some lime juice. You can use fresh lime juice for this as well if you would like. And we're gonna add some water, a little bit of olive oil. Now, I've rinsed and drained these black beans. We're gonna simmer these stove top for about 10 minutes just so the beans get kind of softened and we're gonna mash those up a little bit. We'll get back to that. But here's our roasted vegetables. They are out of the oven. I'm gonna throw these in my food processor or you can throw them in your blender. Either way, we're gonna to toss those in there. We're gonna add one more thing. Again, we're gonna up that flavor factor one more time on this salsa. And we're gonna add just one chipotle chili. And you can add a little of the adobe salsa if you want as well but we're gonna go ahead and blend that just so it is a rough, chunky salsa. You can blend this as smooth as you like, obviously. But this is the consistency that I was looking for. And this is so good. You can put this on so many things. You don't even need this just for the burrito. Back to our beans. They are simmering now. The beans are starting to get soft. We're gonna do a rough mash on those. <clears throat> so you can just mash and you can make this as you know as, as smooth or rough as you like and as soon as we get it mashed to the consistency that we like this is looking like perfect for me we're gonna set that aside now we're gonna work on our egg one egg per burrito the recipe down below is for six of these burritos we're gonna whip up our egg we're gonna go stovetop one more time with a little bit of olive oil as soon as that's up to heat, medium high heat is what I'm looking for. We just want these soft scrambled. So in goes the egg. We're gonna give it a quick little soft scramble. And again, this is your choice. This is not the way it has to be. The thing I like about soft eggs in a burrito is it kind of molds all those ingredients together and you get everything together. When they're a little bit harder, it kind of you know separates the flavors and everything. So I just like these kind of soft. So as soon as we have our eggs, that looks great. We have a whole wheat tortilla, and I'm gonna show you at the end of the video which tortillas I use for these, but you wanna pick a tortilla that is nice and rich in whole wheat, low in fat, obviously low in sugar, and things like that, high in fiber. We're gonna add some of our bean mixture. We're gonna add that soft egg to this as well. We're gonna to top it with some of our fresh salsa that we made. This is so good. The flavors of this are so great. Now, the other thing we're gonna add is we want some nice healthy fat that we're gonna add to this. We do already have some egg in there that's fat. We have high fiber in our tortilla and our beans. We have protein in our eggs, veggies in our salsa, and here comes some fresh sliced avocado. 
The last thing I'm going to add to this, and I know some people don't love cilantro, but I do, and it adds such great flavor and great color to this. We're going to add a little bit of that fresh cilantro on top here. We're going to jelly roll this. So bring in your sides, squeeze it all together, try and keep all those ingredients inside. Again, this is coming in at 299 calories for this power pack, fiber packed, low fat burrito. I'm going to show you the cross section here. And it is just delicious. I know for sure that that is one hot bite. So I wanted to show you really quick the tortillas that I used are the Mission Style Whole Wheat. These are not super high in calories. They're low in fat and they're super high in fiber. So these are a great choice for those burritos. But these are super delicious. That salsa that we made and roasted those veggies, you can put on anything you can have on chips or they are perfect with these burritos. But I wanna thank you again so much for being here. I love you guys. I'll see you next week.